Hello, I'm John Boyd, co-author of The Time Paradox, The New Psychology of Time That Will Change Your Life. In today's segment, I'd like to talk about a couple of the time paradoxes that we discuss in the book, starting with one of the most important. Although time plays a profound role in shaping the course of our lives, people seldom really fully appreciate its impact. We can imagine a fish that lives in a stream of water and that the fish could be completely oblivious to the fact that this water shapes the course of its life and the world in which it lives, People are in a similar situation. We live in a, a river of time, yet we too seldom take the chance to step out and really fully appreciate time's impact on our lives. Time plays a role in just about every decision we make. For example, if we're making a decision such as buying a car, we may think about the, the positive cars we've had in the past. In the past. Uh, we may think about antique cars that we, we uh, envied in our childhood. We may think about cars that are broken down in the past and were more pain than they were worth. We may think about the present, we may think about the cars that are fast and that are sexy and that are red and that will be fun now, or we may think about the future and we may think about the, the payment that we need to make, we may think about a green footprint, we may think about uh, what's going to be the most economical car for us. So our attitudes towards time play a profound but often underappreciated role in the decisions we make on a daily basis. The time paradox is about helping you recognize how your attitudes towards time shape the course of your life, and by recognizing your attitudes, help identify attitudes that can be improved to help you lead a happier, healthier life. A second time paradox is illustrated by a survey that Phil and I recently did with USA Today. It was a replication of a study that was first done in 1989. We did our most recent version in August of 2008. What we found is that in the last 20 years, people's attitudes towards time have changed in some dramatic ways. In 1989, 59% of respondents reported that they eat their evening meal with their family. In 2008, that number had dropped to 20%, a 39% decrease in just 20 years. So we find that people in 2008 are spending less time with their family and friends than they did previously. And we also find that they're spending more time using time-saving devices like computers, email, fast food, microwaves, texting, and other technology-saving devices to really try to get ahead. But despite the fact that they're spending less time with family and friends and that they're using more time-saving technologies, people aren't getting ahead. They report being just as busy as ever, and in fact, the numbers are almost identical from 89 until 2008. We can't seem to squeeze any more time out of our 24-hour day. And that's what this book is about. This book is about not helping you find 25 hours of time during the day, but help, help you understand how your attitudes towards time influence your decisions, and how your attitudes towards time can be changed more easily than the number of hours in the day. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the book.